The Kolmogorov Arnold Moser theorem is a result in dynamical systems about the persistence of quasi periodic motions under small perturbations. The theorem partly resolves the small divisor problem that arises in the perturbation theory of classical mechanics. The problem is whether or not a small perturbation of a conservative dynamical system results in a lasting quasi-periodic orbit. The original breakthrough to this problem was given by Andrei Kolmogorov in 1954. This was rigorously proved and extended by Jürgen Moser in 1962 for smooth twist maps and Vladimir Arnold in 1963 for analytic Hamiltonian systems, and the general result is known as the CAM theorem. Arnold originally thought that this theorem could apply to the motions of the solar system or other instances of the n-body problem, but it turned out to work only for the three-body problem because of a degeneracy in his formulation of the problem for larger numbers of bodies. Later, Gabriella Pinzari showed how to eliminate this degeneracy by developing a rotation invariant version of the theorem. Topic: <laughs> Statement. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Integrable Hamiltonian systems. The CAM theorem is usually stated in terms of trajectories in phase space of an integrable Hamiltonian system. The motion of an integrable system is confined to an invariant torus a donut-shaped surface. Different initial conditions of the integrable Hamiltonian system will trace different invariant tori in phase space. Plotting the coordinates of an integrable system would show that they are quasi-periodic. Perturbations The CAM theorem states that if the system is subjected to a weak nonlinear perturbation, some of the invariant tori are deformed and survive, while others are destroyed. Surviving tori meet the non-resonance condition, i.e., they have sufficiently irrational frequencies. This implies that the motion continues to be quasi-periodic, with the independent periods changed as a consequence of the non-degeneracy condition. The CAM theorem quantifies the level of perturbation that can be applied for this to be true. Those CAM tori that are destroyed by perturbation become invariant Cantor sets, named Cantori by Ian C. Percival in 1979. The non resonance and non degeneracy conditions of the CAM theorem become increasingly difficult to satisfy for systems with more degrees of freedom. As the number of dimensions of the system increases, the volume occupied by the tori decreases. As the perturbation increases and the smooth curves disintegrate we move from CAM theory to Aubrey-Mather theory which requires less stringent hypotheses and works with the Cantor-like sets. The existence of a CAM theorem for perturbations of quantum many-body integrable systems is still an open question, although it is believed that arbitrarily small perturbations will destroy integrability in the infinite size limit. Consequences An important consequence of the CAM theorem is that for a large set of initial conditions the motion remains perpetually quasi-periodic. CAM theory The methods introduced by Kolmogorov, Arnold, and Moser have developed into a large body of results related to quasi-periodic motions, now known as CAM theory. Notably, it has been extended to non-Hamiltonian systems starting with Moser, to non-perturbative situations as in the work of Michael Herman and to systems with fast and slow frequencies as in the work of Mikhail B. Sevriuk. See also Arnold diffusion Nekoroshev estimates Ergodic theory Notes <laughs> 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 <laughs>